Nicholas Edward Foles is an American football quarterback for the Jacksonville Jaguars of the National Football League. He played college football at Arizona and was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the third round of the 2012 NFL Draft. He has also played for the St. Louis Rams and Kansas City Chiefs. Foles played his first game with the Eagles in Week 10 of the 2012 season after Michael Vick left with an injury. Foles then made his first start the following week. In Week 9 of the 2013 season, he became the second quarterback to post a perfect passer rating while passing for more than 400 yards, and also the first quarterback in NFL history to post a perfect passer rating and throw seven touchdowns in a single game. It was the 60th time in NFL history that a perfect passer rating was achieved overall. After stints with the Rams and the Chiefs, Foles returned to the Eagles in 2017. After Carson Wentz was injured late in the regular season, Foles led the Eagles to the franchise's third Super Bowl appearance. There, they defeated the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 52 for their first Super Bowl title, with Foles being named the game's MVP. Foles was born and raised in Austin, Texas, the son of restaurateurs Larry and Melissa Foles. He graduated in 2007 from Westlake High School. A two-year starter for the football team, Foles threw for 5,658 yards and 56 touchdowns, breaking most school records previously held by Foles' future NFL opponent, Drew Brees. Foles also excelled at basketball, where he started three years, twice received team MVP honors, and was recruited by Georgetown, Baylor, and Texas. He also played high school football with Justin Tucker, kicker for the Baltimore Ravens, and Kyle Adams, a free agent tight end formerly of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Chicago Bears Foles originally committed to Arizona State but later decided to attend Michigan State. He ultimately transferred to the University of Arizona. Foles attended Michigan State for one year. He appeared in a game against Alabama-Birmingham, where he completed five of eight passes for 57 yards. Foles transferred to Arizona and had to redshirt his 2008 freshman season. After quarterback Willie Tuatama graduated, Foles competed with expected successor Matt Scott, who got the nod after spring practice because the coaches believed he could run effectively as well as pass. Despite victories against Central Michigan and Northern Arizona, Scott struggled against Iowa and the next week was benched in favor of Foles. In Corvallis, Foles led the Wildcats to a victory against Oregon State. He started the rest of the season, completing 260 of 409 pass attempts for 2,486 yards, 19 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. As a redshirt junior in 2010, Foles was the unquestioned starter. Foles led the Wildcats to a 7-1 start, including a victory against No. 9 Iowa on national television. Foles led the game-winning drive that ended with a touchdown pass to Bug Wright. A knee injury in the Washington State game sidelined him for two games, but Foles finished off his junior year with 3,191 yards, 20 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. During the 2011 season, Foles completed 387 of 560 passes for 4,334 yards and 28 touchdowns. He ranked first in the Pac-12 Conference and fifth among all NCAA Division I FBS players with an average of 352.58 yards of total offense per game. He also ranked second in the Pac-12 and 20th among all FBS players in total passing yardage. Foles graduated from the University of Arizona with a degree in communication. Foles was selected by the Philadelphia Eagles in the third round with the 88th overall pick in the 2012 NFL Draft. He signed a four-year contract with the team on May 21, 2012. Despite speculation that Foles would start the Eagles' Monday night football game against the New Orleans Saints on November 5, Eagles coach Andy Reid stated that Vic would start that game. The following week against the division rival Dallas Cowboys, after Vic left the game in the second quarter with concussion symptoms, Foles made his NFL debut. Foles threw his first career touchdown pass to wide receiver Jeremy Macklin for 44 yards and finished with 22 completed passes out of 32 attempts for 219 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. With Philadelphia behind 31-23 in the last minute, Foles lost the ball as he was sacked, and Jason Hatcher of the Cowboys recovered the ball in the end zone for a touchdown. Vic was eventually ruled out of the